to doing the important work that has to be done. You're developing the strong grassroots movement from California to Vermont, which is in fact going to change the national priorities of this country. So thank you for what you're doing. We're going to get, continue to give tax breaks to billionaires and cut programs for working people when we continue to have a situation where Capitol Hill is dominated by big money and lobbyists. We're going to change that system when tens of millions of Americans, led by the trade union movement, stand up and say, enough is enough, we want our country back. What is going on here now is totally obscene. The American middle class is collapsing, poverty is increasing, the gap between the very, very rich and everybody else is growing wider, and our Republican friends say, yeah, let's cut programs for working families of the middle class, let's give a trillion dollars in tax breaks to the top 2%, that is insane. But the challenge now is to create a set of priorities, an agenda which reflects the needs of ordinary people and not just the wealthy and the powerful. We are living in a nation today where the top 1% today have seen a huge increase in their income, now earn more money than the bottom 50%. We are living in a nation today, this is even worse, and I want you to think about this. We're living in a nation today where the top 400 people, not a lot of people, own more wealth than the bottom 50% of America, 150 million Americans. And what these guys are doing, these big money people are doing with their wealth, and their ownership of the media, and their campaign contributions, and their lobbying is creating an agenda here which benefits only the people on top and really sticks it to ordinary people. And we've got to change that. We've got to change the priorities of the country. And you're here today to say that you want a system, a healthcare system, which will enable you to do a better job than you're doing today for your patients. What you are saying today is that it is a national disgrace that the United States of America is the only country in the industrialized world which does not guarantee health care to all people as a right. People are going to look back on this moment and say thank you very much for all that you are doing in paving the way to make health care a right of all people, not just a privilege. Thank you all very much. And he failed to mention that Thomas Paine was a working class immigrant. And he'd be out here with us today. He wouldn't be at a Tea Party rally defending these wars and this misallocation of money. Because he was a poor shoemaker. party on the Capitol lawn, asking you which side you're on, drawing battle lines in this country. We're a rich nation full of boarded homes, crowded prisons, abandoned schools, poor folks with hard goals, rich folks with poor souls, undereducated, underhomed, underpaid, but over -loaned. clinging hard to what we own, trying to win the rat race. Oh, so you hate taxes on the working poor Unless, of course, they're for the war Or putting a wall along the border But not for nurses or doctors Priorities flip the way it looks to me And I work hard as hell for my money But I don't believe in an economy That forces folks to crawl Tea party on the Capitol lawn And Sarah Palin singing along Laughing all the way to the Pentagon Remember when uh, Palin and McCain <laughs> were running for office and they were talking about stopping the Washington establishment. And 
to hear John McCain talking about stopping the Washington establishment. Like, how long has that guy been in Washington, you know? That's total BS. Tea Party on the Capitol lawn, asking you which side you're on, drawing battle lines in this country. Oh, but there's something about our worldview, something about the lens we look through that keeps us from building something new that works out better for more of us. Well, it's in the cracks where the levees broke, it's in the cash Goldman Sachs stole, it's in the fields of tomatoes where the legacy of slavery roams, it's a hatred born of jealous fear, a hatred born and bred right here, xenophobic and insecure with a deadly outcome, it's a racism that grows and thrives when religions used to justify, an endless list of human rights denied in the name of liberty, tea party on the Capitol lawn and the Christian terrorists are singing along, getting ready for the race war, remember those guys in Michigan, none of the corporate media would call them terrorists, they were gonna, right, they were gonna kill a cop and then blow up his funeral with homemade bombs and Fox News and NBC, they wouldn't call them a certain T word that I learned, my generation learned, when you make homemade bombs and you blow up funerals, we usually call that terrorism, but the corporate media, especially the Tea Party, was, had a real hard time with that because they were white people and these are the people pushing these policies in Wisconsin. Terrorist supporters. should go back home, I say know the ground that you're standing on, cause Arizona was Mexico and your grandparents were European, and our national heroes like Thomas Paine were immigrants when they came and called themselves Americans, and that's how it's always been, no Maria and Juan didn't steal our jobs, they were outsourced by Bill and Ron, as South America's wealth was robbed by U.S. corporations, so when they dumped the tea in Boston, it was an attack against the corporation, so I don't see the connection between that story and yours, and Christmas addicts and the Boston dead weren't fighting for a white nation, they were fighting an occupation, like the Iraq and Afghan wars, Tea Party on the Capitol lawn, asking you which side you're on, drawing battle lines in this country. Thank you.